right. Well, today is August 22nd, 2019. And uh, it is uh, lunchtime. Headed over to do some exercising at our local mall. I'm, uh, this is, today is the beginning of my regular schedule again. I just got off of about two months, a little less than two months of uh, like six weeks of kind of a summer break schedule. I work for a school district. And so we have a bit of a reduced schedule in the summertime, which is really nice. And uh, I haven't been vlogging for about two months now because in May we bought a house and we were transitioning from the rental that we used to live in to our new house. We were doing some prepping and remodeling to move into our new house. And then we had to get our old rental um, cleaned and kind of patched up, you know, the wall, it's a drywall patched and stuff so that we could uh, move out of that and get our full deposit back. And so, a lot of it was just task, task, task. We were working like seven, or we were working like six days straight, sometimes more than that, just getting all of that stuff done. It's like I would go to work, come home, have all of this stuff to do. It was like, basically like kind of two full-time jobs. And it was wearing me out. And I just didn't have a lot of creative time and creative energies left to uh, even pick up my camera and do some recording. Now we're all done. And at some point in time, I will take you on a tour of our new house because um, it, is, it is now a home. All right, as promised, here's a quick little tour of the house. This is the front living room. We have this huge um, pit couch and we're actually able to put the entire thing in there, which is pretty cool, just because of the size of it. And then we kind of pan over here. Here is uh, our kitchen. We repainted the entire house before we moved in. I should say my wife and family and her work friends did. Uh, here's the backyard. It's kind of a finished backyard, which is pretty cool. Just bought this new umbrella. It's like an 11 foot umbrella with the lights and pretty tree with some flowers. So it's kind of nice actually have a functional backyard. The other one was all rock and no patio. So I'm gonna bypass something real quick. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to allow you to see it just yet because that's kind of the, <laughs> the real special thing that I was able to get at the very end of our, um, of our uh, renovations and everything. So this is the master bedroom with the uh, closet there. I do wanna take you on a tour of the master bathroom because this is where we did a lot of upgrades. So previously, when we moved in, we had a shower right here, but as you can see, we've, um, we've locked that up and we're gonna put in this big barn door separating the main bath sink area because there's no privacy <laughs> when you use the commode. And then what we did was we took the shower from that little shower area and we added it to our bath. So actually we have two shower heads, dual shower heads with dual controls. And uh, and then we ended up tiling, putting all this tile there, and then we en enclosed the window too. So that was a that was kind of the major renovation that we did uh, that took a little bit of time and coordination. And uh, go on to the bedroom portion of the house. We have a four bedroom, two bath. So this is a little mini hallway other bathroom, my stepdaughter's bedroom. She did a real nice uh, job. Actually, I have to kind of brag on her. She decorated all of the covers to the outlets. Um, can't really see all of them. Here's, here's kind of another one that you can kind of see. Um, she decorated them. She kind of wanted to make a personal touch, so that was kind of cool. Uh, here's our exercise slash guest room. And here's my studio where I have my electronic drums, my electric piano, and then my TV for watching football, 
and my little couch for relaxing. And this is where I do a lot of my podcasts. And of course the ultimate purchase motivator for me was the three car garage, the two sides for me, the future spot for where the Lamborghini will be parked. So that's the house. So the very last thing that I wanted to show you that um, we were budgeting for, if we could get all of our remodeling stuff done um, under cost, then we purchased this pool table, which is actually really cool because it's not only a pool table, but it's a dining room, dining room table. It's, a, it's kind of a dual thing. And I'll throw up some pictures of what the, uh, the pool table looks like um, with the actual uh, tabletop on it but it's in a navy blue and we've had a lot of fun even just in the cup in, in the one week that we've had it. So that's the house. Hope you enjoyed the tour. We, we had gotten back from vacation. We went up to Oregon. Uh, one of our family members got married and uh, man, that was, a, that was a really nice vacation. It was fun getting away. It was the first time that we actually kind of relaxed. It was nice not being home. All right, so we finally made it to our vacation. We are here in Lincoln City, Oregon at the beach. It's July 14th, Sunday, and uh, this is our well-earned vacation. We finished moving into our new house at uh, about a weekend ago. Finally got everything all uh, situated. So uh, we've been running nonstop for the last 60 days. We've been little fitness update um, actually was able to make my uh, 30 pound reduction so starting in October of 2018 I started a fitness challenge which I ended up winning at our church and then I just continued on that challenge even after the uh, contest was over I was at 227 pounds when I started last um, October 2018 and in the end of June 2019 um, I was down to 197 pounds I ended up losing 30 pounds I've kind of fluctuated a little bit just since we were on vacation and it was really funny uh, we we're up in Oregon and just out of convenience for running around a lot with her family going different places we would end up at McDonald's either getting coffee and breakfast and we ended up going to McDonald's like half a dozen times. But it's so funny, in Oregon, there's no sales tax. And so I don't think any meal at McDonald's cost over five bucks. And I'm like, wow, it's so cheap. And, but the food, you know, isn't all that healthy, all that great. It's uh, good in a pinch, good in a bind, but I wouldn't make it a regular habit. And so um, ended up eating quite a bit of McDonald's. Yeah, just, just kind of a little funny side note. So I just wanted to do a quick update on where things are at. Uh, once again, thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like what you see, please do subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up. And until we talk again, you be blessed.